I think that if Steve Jobs had been a woman, we wouldn't have iPads, we wouldn't have iPads, we wouldn't have iPhones, and Apple as we know it, as we know all these things today, they wouldn't exist. And I think that would be the case because I think that a woman in the 1980s, when Jobs started working on this, wouldn't have been given credit by her colleagues for such innovative approaches. Uh, she wouldn't have been credited by investors, <laughs> real credit funding, <laughs> to make reality her ideas, her innovations, and uh, she wouldn't have been credited either by the wider public, commentators, critics, and so on, uh, and she wouldn't have been manufactured into a big group, a technological group. So I think that uh, the Apple uh, idea and the products that Steve Jobs was able to, to do, a woman wouldn't have been able to, to, to reach a similar result. But somebody else, not Steve Jobs, a woman, but another male would have done it. At about the same time, because innovations, inventions uh, usually happen because the time is ripe. And so we would have similar things done by another man, not by she jobs. <laughs> Another way of looking at this issue is what about the top women that we have now in technological industry today, 30 years later? We have a few women now. We have top women in uh, Facebook, we have top women in Google, and then in Spain we have top women in Amazon, in uh, Facebook too, and uh, also in Google. And if you look at how these women are being pictured in the press and how they are criticized by some of the things they do or say. We could also ask uh, what if these women, women today in the technological sector were men? And I'm pretty sure that if Sheryl Sandberg was a man or if um, Marisa Mayer was a man, they wouldn't be criticized in the way they are being criticized, but some decisions or some books, one of the book that uh, Sheryl Sandberg has written. Um, I think that uh, very wise, probably, I, I, I don't know the, the internal, but I, I would guess that, for instance, the decision that Marisa Mayer has done on um, cutting off remote working wouldn't have been at all criticized if she was a man, because nobody would hold him accountable for making a decision that has to do with consideration of work and family. Something that we would need to think is that, do we really need gurus? Maybe not. I think that creativity is much more spread and, and capacity is much and talent is much more spread and if, when we think of what happens or what are the possibilities of men and women, if everybody was given a fair chance, we would have a much more open field of creativity for everybody and we would have many, many more Steve Jobs and, uh, and women who would do the, exactly the same quality and, the, and would have the, exactly the same creativity if they were given the possibility to, to do it. Well, I would like to invite you to, to visit our, the site, the new site of Gender ST, Gender Science, Technology and Environment, which is a policy-driven cost network where members from over 30 countries in Europe and beyond participate, representing governments, uh, universities, research institutions, SMEs, NGOs, uh, dealing on the topics of structural change for gender equality in research institutions, on how to better consider sex and gender analysis in research in science technology, and on how to define, better define the state of the art on specific fields of interest to Horizon 2020, the new European research program, uh, in fields related to environment, particularly on cities, energy, transportation, and climate change.